Hi there, welcome to another episode of ABC Useful Tips. In this useful video, we'll show you step by step how you create a fun exit ticket where you can use to check for understanding of what the students have learned in your class or lesson or particular topic. Alright, so this activity, fun activity, we call it two truths and one false, where the students can move any of these three two ticks and one crosses to the three boxes and you can actually include any pictures or wordings or anything that you have used in class you put inside these three boxes for them to decide which one is true and which one is false all right simply all right so i hope that you will love this video and stay tuned to the end of the video you will get a link to this particular activity in a copy in your google drive to be first to be notified of future useful ad tech video, please remember to click subscribe at the bottom and also click the notification bell and give us a like and uh, maybe some comments of how you can use it. Right? Then we'll dive right in. So now you'll be creating your template design on a new frame altogether. In my mind, I've already uh, an idea of a new template called Two True and One False. Right, you can you would like to actually put down your design on the paper first before you put it in directly here right so what we will try to do is that i'm going to put up a design on the uh, jam board where we can not actually allow the student to move the background template one is to create a background right and then upload as a background let me demonstrate how to create the template okay so two true and one was all right so what i'll do is that i'll click on the title first and i'll put it up here and because I want it to be title, alright, so maybe I put it as a word title. Okay, that means I choose from the tab, not that kind of title, alright. If you can't, if I'm going too fast, you can actually pause and uh, just uh, rewind it, alright. So, two, two, force. Alright, so I want the whole thing to be a title sheet right up top, just nice, and I want this to be of a blue color. Okay, so two true and one false all together, there will be three boxes. So I'll click on this shape. Alright, this is a shape button, and I choose any shape I want. In this case, I want a rectangular shape. Alright. Okay, so I estimate the shape in such a way that it should be one third of the whole page, right? So, okay, and what I'll do is that I will comp um, I'll duplicate this this shape two more times, right? By clicking the top three dots. I'll demonstrate that again. Put it at the right position. Go to the top right hand side three dots. Click. And click on double a duplicate and then I have another one just nice all right so in this case I have three boxes here all right two true and one false all right however I am not going to show them which one is true and which one is false all right so I am going to have this idea in mind where the movement of the true and the false or the selection true and false is not just by typing it's not just that that uh, normal way I'm going to add in something that are more interesting okay so i'm going to find i'm going to find pictures to represent true and false right so to add in pictures very simple go to this icon here okay this icon is add picture click on it all right and i can actually find pictures directly in the web and how do you do that so usually when you click the picture, add picture, you will come to upload. So what you do is go over to Google image search, click on that. All right. And then you can type into the search of image title. Ticks. Tick. And please remember to put P and G. All right. That means this is the picture will be transparent and you want to cover your words or any other thing that you put on the template. All right. Enter. And then a lot of pictures will be out, right? So you can decide on which one that you like, right? Um, 
I pretty much like this one. Okay, so I'm going to use, okay, I'm going to use this one. Just double click on the picture and it will be inserted. Okay, so once this is inserted, you may want to shape, reshape it to the size that you want by clicking the bottom right or bottom left dot. Alright, uh, when the two arrows are out, you can just resize them. Put it at the side. Okay. Since there's supposed to be two truth, I will duplicate one more by clicking the three dot again, duplicate. Okay, now I want one force. So you go to add image, change it to wrong all right and click enter again all right and this time i want it to be red okay so i will have it this is pretty good okay so once it's no not that okay i will choose again with just the word wrong all right and then i will choose this one Okay, because just now the picture has to be the take along. So I'll choose this one. Okay, then once it appears, I will just resize to about the same size and put them together. Okay, so to indicate two twos and one wrong, what I'll do is also to create a box for these things, the ticks or the crosses to be placed into it by clicking the shape again another square and then I'll put it right at the corner okay same thing I want the same size I will just duplicate and duplicate again there you go you have two two and one block the rest of the spaces will be for you to add in any other things any questions any other information all right so but of course, if you want to make it even more interesting, right, what you can do is that you can recolor the lines right, by clicking on the square, on the rectangle, and then this is the line. Or you can actually give special colors into the boxes. right. For example, you can actually have the green here. You can have a yellow here. You can have a pink here. Right? So it's more interesting and more enticing for the students in this way. I can reshape, reshape, or move such that it look perfect. Okay, so this is beautiful, right? You have the design on. Okay, of course for me, you should have make, want to make it even, even nicer, right? So what I'll do is I'll just actually set a background that is very dark, right? So in this case, it will be more attractive. Cool. Like I said, you want to fix the background such that the student will not be able to move any of these things, right? And I'm going to show you the first way that is to put uh, boxes big boxes around it so that they will not move these items here the reason being the format of this is that whatever is on top uh, new will be on top of the other pictures behind then you will move the one on top first so what i'll do is i'll just click on this box again okay and i'll draw super huge Sorry, I'll be showing you just one method that is to create a background because time is short. Alright, so to create a background, what you need to do is just to this uh, download this picture. Alright, download this as a save it as a an image. Okay, by clicking this three dot at the top right hand corner and clicking save as image. Once it's downloaded, you will see this image down here downloaded at the bottom. Alright, click on that image. Once the image is open up, okay, click on file, right, click on copy, and then immediately go over to your file manager. Open up a file manager, any any folder that you want, okay, and then click paste. Right, keep this file manager open, alright, but go to the top right -hand corner, click minimize, so it will be small, and at the same time, go back to your Google Jam board, alright. This time you want to add, include a, add in a new background, but you don't want this one which you can actually move around. Right, so you create a new frame again, go to the top, all right, click on the arrow, there's another way to create a new frame. Right, blank frame will be out. So now you click on set background. 
go to the bottom right hand image click background okay this is to upload the background and then you already have a background in your folder just click to open the back folder again which you have minimized click on the picture background you want and drag over into the panel and then release it will be uploaded all right so uploaded this will be a background format where you cannot move anything anymore by clicking any part of the frame this becomes your template all right and then you click the arrow the old template that you can move just delete it away. okay with this template on as background nothing can be moved all right last but not least is to add on add into the template the movable pictures of the ticks and the crosses and that is simply by just clicking on this add picture all right go to google images and type in the words all right that is appropriate okay wrong and png is important to have the picture as a transparent picture all right so we just enter okay and then this is the picture that we want just double click on it and then it will appear and just resize it to the size that you want just nice for it okay next will be the ticks okay so you just have to put in ticks all right and this is the picture that we have and double click on it again okay, when the picture appears resize it to the size that you want shift it over place it where it's supposed to be and then duplicate one more because it's two truths all right by clicking the three dots on the top right hand corner click duplicate and then you just shift it over again all right so you have the three movable pictures of two ticks and one cross all right great you have come to the end of the video and this is the url for you to download this particular exit ticket template all right just type in this into your google chrome address and enter you will get a copy of it in your google drive and i hope you find values in this video and i hope to see you again take care